Welcome to another Mint Mad Cow video, but just not any video. This video is not planned. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but this update just came out and it is huge. It is a huge thing that affects all of RuneScape because the last time this was updated was 2015. The death mechanics may be changing very, very soon. They used to be when you died, your shit fell on the floor and anyone could loot it. But because it was such a good way to grab other people's gear, people would DDoS to worlds, meaning hit off the worlds with some sort of device. I don't know that much into the DDoSing aspect of it, but they'd, they'd hit off the worlds, you would die in God Wars, then they'd claim your items. So they made it that if you were to die in RuneScape, it would be a safe death. And this has been the way it's been since 2020. Five years of safe death mechanics in RuneScape that may be coming to a halt. This is huge. I didn't even think I'd be alive to see them updating death mechanics. I thought I would be dead. <laughs> Literally dead, because they never spoke about this until now. But before we jump into the possible changes, guys, I somehow landed more sponsors in 2020. That means two years of sponsors for this channel, and I just have to say thank you so much for supporting me, and let's jump right into the sponsor. Hello, the Sponsor Wizard is back yet again with Raids Shadow Legends. If you guys don't know what Raids Shadow Legends is, some somehow you just don't know, it is a free-to-play RPG mobile game directly onto your phone with a lot of champions and customizations and there's a lot in it. It's free, it's insane, and right now they have just added it to your desktop because not everyone enjoys mobile games. I think the majority of us enjoy a nice computer game, obviously. And right now, gamers can claim free champions and more with Amazon Prime. Log into Raids Shadow Legends and sign up before February 23rd to claim the all-new epic champion, Vala. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Raids, I love you. Future drops run through April and include free shards, XP boosts, legendary artifacts, potions, and everything else you need to take on rival summoners. Claim your loot today for Amazon Prime members only. To claim your loot, just install the game from my link down below and follow all the instructions. You got a free mobile game, now on the desktop, you got Amazon Prime involved somehow. So what are you guys waiting for? Go down to my description, click on the special link, get 100,000 silver, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and a free champion, Aljudicator. Sounds pretty sweet. All the treasure should be waiting for you right here. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Sponsor Wizard out. So, it's pretty much a rant video, but with a bunch of information about death mechanics and how they may change in 2020. One thing you need to know is Ultimate Iron Man won't be affected as much as Ultimate Iron Man kind of have their own gameplay style on the safe death mechanics, meaning they're not going to see much of a change. I don't really care if they see much of a change as I'm not an Ultimate Iron Man, but if you think that they should also have the death mechanics we do, feel free to comment it down below. Uh, also, it looks like they want to add back the Gravestone mechanics only for PVM death. So if you die to a monster, you may be getting a Gravestone in the near future. You'll be protecting three or four items with a protected item on and all untradeables, but those untradeables will have death mechanics similar to PvP, where you may have to repair them, they could turn to coins if you have an anchor. This new death mechanic update seems to have the makings of a huge gold sink in RuneScape, and you could only imagine if this was implemented in 2015, how many billions, I don't know if trillions would be a thing, but maybe, let's just say billions of GP would be out of the economy in old school runescape today i know i'd probably at least contribute 50 mil to all my broken barrow sets that i have not lost because they've been safe death mechanics for till now it would have been a ton of gold out of the game and the way these future gravestones may work as they might be voting on different certain effects on each gravestone really we don't know too much they're just giving us a layout of what may happen but they have some pretty ingenious plans if these were to come out PvP world gravestones would remain on a PvP world, meaning if you died, you'd have to go through PvP to collect your items. 
that means there is risk involved, so don't die in dumb areas. Now, they are kind and compassionate because they did add that if you died in God Wars, because you need some sort of kill count to get into the rooms, they will put your gravestone outside of God Wars rooms. This is nice because I remember back when I was doing God Wars and there were no gravestones and no safe death mechanics, I would be deathly afraid of losing my valuables because I couldn't get into the room on time. So I do commend them on that. Uh, Vorkath and all other places where you have to pay to get your items back will be the same, and they may even be changing it to where you will lose more money, more deaths, but we'll get into that just in a bit. Something they will be changing entirely is instead of a usual 60 minute gravestone timer, which they referred to in the update, they will be going for a 15 minute gravestone timer. So in 15 minutes, if you don't come and claim your stuff, you are royally fucked. But they also said that it will only tick down for game time. So if you're not logged in, you have nothing to worry about. When you log in, it'll start counting down, and that should definitely give you plenty of time to come and grab your gear. And there is also some sort of danger in 15 minutes. It's not a ton of time, but it's not a little amount of time. It's almost the perfect amount of time. Kinda. Maybe I'd be fine with 10 minutes. 15 is pretty good, especially for real game time. I love it. It is amazing. Potions will have a different effect, though. They will not drop on the gravestone. They will be dropped as a supply drop. So if you die in a certain scary area next to a scary monster and you need to loot your items, you'll have your potions and food on the floor to use. Very smart. I love it. And here comes the best part. Now, not only will your untradables and your Barrows items be broken and you have to repair them, which should happen because you died, face it, you, you suck at RuneScape, you gotta face the consequences, you will also have to pay a fee to get your items back. Not a crazy fee, not an insane fee, but a fee will be there. Items under 100k you can get back for free, it will not matter. But if it is somewhat over 100k to 1 mil, it's 1k per item. So if you want your, uh, what's over 100k? If you want your Dragon Halliburg back, you're gonna click, boom, 1k out of your bag, you get your Halley bag, beautiful. Now say your item is over a mil, but not over 10 mil, that's gonna be 10k per item. So if you wanna get your Abyssal Whip back, your Fury back, you're gonna have to pay 10k per item. So that's not too much. Now if it's a 10 mil item, a 10 mil item, that is the max amount that they're gonna charge you, it's gonna be 100k per. So you want your Tassies bag, you want your God Swords bag, you're gonna have to pay 100k per, and it is capped at 500k, just in case you just are wearing the best gear possible, you're only gonna have to pay 500k to get it back, a fair flat fee. Anyone who's rocking full PVM gear definitely has 500k in the bank to throw into their gravestone, and that's if they die. Let's be real, not a lot of us die anymore, maybe if you're at the Nightmare Boss, but you should be fine most cases. So we have the fee from the gravestone, we have cash coming out from Broken Barrows items, and we have anchors turning into pure cash when you pick them up, meaning there's gonna be a lot of money coming out of old school RuneScape, and we have only skimmed the basics of the gravestone mechanics. They have thought even more in depth on this, and I'm actually really impressed the Trover's Parchment will have a play in the new death mechanics if your item has a parchment on it, meaning that if you were to bring this into the wilderness and untradeable like Void, and you use a Trover's Parchment on this item, if you die you will keep it instead of usually losing it past 20 wild. Now if you die outside of the wilderness in a PVM area, you will just keep that item in your inventory or it'll be wielded onto your body if you were wearing it. This is pretty sick. And the last thing you need to know about a gravestone is, let me give you a situation, you're doing a boss, you die, you need to loot your items, your gravestone's there, you go back, and then you die to the boss again. What's gonna happen is all of the stuff you just lost is gonna be added to your old gravestone and you can just go and reclaim it there. So it won't be two, it'll just be one. Now, you're thinking, can I get away with maybe like dying in Lumbridge and then all my items are in Lumbridge? No, if you die too far away from your previous gravestone, then it will just be added to your old one, which is all the way back there. So you can't really get around that, which is good, because I know that if it was some way to be manipulated, we would find a way, and then there would just be no point. So they thought of a way to not manipulate the gravestones, which is brilliant on them, 
seems like a very flawless idea if it were to be added into RuneScape, but that is only my opinion. This is a rant. I just woke up and saw this and made some notes because I thought, I want to tell my audience about this. I am super psyched for new death mechanics in RuneScape. So I'll be reading the comments in full. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys for letting me put another sponsor on the videos. I'll have another video out this Saturday or Sunday of me PKing with the new staff. I have so many clips to show you guys. I just wanted to get this out right away to talk about new death mechanics on old school RuneScape. If you like the video, you like this rant, maybe you want me to make more if the future update that's huge hits RuneScape, let me know because I like to talk and I have a ton of PK clips to throw over. So. Show me some love. Show me some support. Mint Mad Cow 2020, check your sub boxes because I'm going to be there stuffing them full. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You, st you still watching? What are you, what are you doing? The video's over. What, bro? Not, what, might as well follow my Twitter, man. Might, might as well follow the Twitter, bro, if you want some more content. PK clips, updates, my brain thoughts. Who wouldn't want that? Twitter, Mint Mad Cow. What are you still doing? Exit out of the video.